We are here today to celebrate all those community partners who have worked tirelessly through their financial contributions, through resources, to provide opportunities, materials, programs for our students. And we want you to know that when you invest in children, that you are making a tremendous impact that extends beyond the school day or the school year that the impact that you are making is one that certainly will last a lifetime. So today we're here to celebrate them. Um, hopefully you will have an opportunity to visit our new State of the Arts Wing. And we are in our fifth year of implementation of being an elementary performing arts magnet. And so as we celebrate with you today, we wish to thank you the way that we know best and that is through some student performances. Um, for my very favorite boys and girls in the entire universe, I do wish to remind you, I know you're excited, that uh, you are representing our school, yourselves, and your family, and you need to do so with, you remember? Pride. Pride. Very good. So, you guys rock it. Um, at this time, I would like to welcome the President and CEO of the Community Foundation of Louisville, and I love her name, and that is Miss Susan Berry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss Susan. <laughs> I love that, and I love the fact that Susan started out like this. And that's the kind of person I am at the foundation every day, uh, trying to, to bring up everyone's energy level. Um, I want to invite three students to come up and stand here with me. I, Tatiana, you know who you are. Esther and Javon, please come on up. They just happen to have the great luck of sitting behind me. Thank you. They, uh, who asked about the prize? You, I, introduced, I said hello to them. They said, do we win a prize? And I said, no, but the prize is coming up here. So what grade are you in? And what do you like best about this school? Reading. <laughs> Javon, I brought you up here. Come on. Pardon me? Dance. 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 And what about you, Esther? Everything. Everything. <laughs> All right. That's a great way to get started. I'm going to talk for a few minutes about um, the Donors Truce Partnership and how we've um, been able to introduce what we call citizen philanthropists um, into the educational system here in, in Louisville. Um, I want to thank you for coming up. You've got great plans for the summer, I hope? Yep. Do you? What are you doing? I'm going on vacation. Where are you going? Atlanta. Atlanta? Javon, what are you doing? Florida, Texas, Florida, and Chicago. Florida and Chicago. Fantastic. And what about you, Tatiana? Watching TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, I have a 16-year-old daughter who I'm always talking about. She goes to Atherton. I'm always talking about how um, determined and, and uh, purposeful she is. But she said, you know, Mom, I really wouldn't mind sitting on the couch all summer watching TV. So there you go. It never ends. Thanks so much. You guys can go ahead and sit down. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Um, Ms. Do I call you Mr. Michael or Mr. Ice? Mr. Mr. Ice, Mr. Michael, Mr. Ice and the entire staff for hosting uh, today's event. I drive by Lincoln every day on my way to work and it's just been a, from the outside, it's been a total transformation. And last time I was here, it was pre-renovation. So it just looks absolutely fantastic. I guess the secret is this. <laughs> give me five. And it's not the high five, it's give me five. Okay. All right, that's another thing I'm going to try at work. <laughs> Give me five. I'm Susan Barry, President and CEO of the Community Foundation. I'm very excited to be here. Today's a, a great day. We are celebrating the amazing results of our Community Foundation's three-year partnership with Donors Choose. First, I want to acknowledge uh, student ambassadors who welcomed us. Thank you very much for being at the doors and letting people <laughs> in. A special shout out to one of the ambassadors that I met. Legacy, are you here? No, she's in fifth grade, so, so I think she probably, okay, thank you very much. Um, Dr. Donna Hargens, who you'll hear from, Superintendent of Jefferson County 
Public Schools, thank you Donna, and Diane Porter uh, of the JCPS School Board. Today we're celebrating a very successful partnership between the Community Foundation and Donors Choose, a partnership to transform one classroom and one community at a time. Now it all started um, with a gentleman by the name of Charles Best. He was a teacher, a social studies teacher in the Bronx in the late 1990s. So before most of you, at least the young ones, were born, he was um, talking with his colleagues a lot, other teachers and friends, about how he wished he had more money to spend in the classroom so he could support his kids and some of the things they wanted to do. He was frustrated, but he was also very passionate. So he created Donors Choose in 2000, uh, the year 2000, so that individuals, people who were interested in supporting teachers and kids like you, could actually make donations so that teachers could get projects off the ground. What he really created was kind of something what, that we call crowdfunding. A bunch of people come together and support a project. That frustration and passion turned into an organization that over the last 14 years has raised $225 million and helped more than 175,000 teachers. Let's hear it for the teachers. <laughs> 400,000 projects that have aided more than uh, 10 million students. I want to take a step to the side and, and do say that donors choose works because citizen philanthropists uh, choose to donate, but it works because teachers, teachers, your teachers, say, I'd really like to have this in the classroom. And before donors choose, they might take money out of their own pocket, or they might just say, I can't make this happen. But what they do is they post projects so that you can get some of the special things um, happening in your classroom. So it really takes a teacher um, to really make donors choose successful. We heard about the innovative work of Donors Choose and wanted to kickstart the movement locally. For every donation given to a classroom project over the past three years, we've made a commitment to what we call double its impact and match it. So the Community Foundation donated $150,000 to Donors Choose to this project here in our community. One, five, zero. Uh, we had an additional $10,000 in matching from funds from the Robert and Clara Whitney Fund for Music-Related Projects. How many kids like music here in the room? All right, fantastic. And another $26,000 from other donors at the Community Foundation who chose to remain anonymous. That means 180, there's a lot of numbers here. I promise there's cake at the end. That means $186,000 was contributed by over 3,000 citizen philanthropists. So we, we almost got to the $375,000 goal for local classrooms um, in, in the Louisville area. I'm so proud of our role in kickstarting this initiative. 106 schools uh, participated, 680 classroom projects, 338 teachers, and 73,200 students uh, received a benefit. Of course, there are some people who can explain the value of these classroom projects better than I can the teachers and students who benefited from the generosity of our community. But first, I think we'd like to hear from um, our superintendent, Donna Hargens. I love Lincoln, and I love being at Lincoln, and I really want to thank Susan Berry for her leadership and for all that she does to support the Jefferson County Public School System. So we've got a goal, right? We've got a vision that all JCPS students graduate prepared. And it really is a community that is committed to making that happen. You know those signs outside that say Louisville is the possibility city? Some people say that it's really the probability city. That if we continue to get this community behind us, the probability that all JCPS students will graduate prepared will really happen. And you know what this community does like you do in your school? When there are challenges, when there are needs, they lend the hand and they, they really are making a difference. So Donors Choose aligns perfectly with our strategic plan, Vision 2015. It's a wonderful example of stakeholder uh, involvement and engagement increased learning, and safe resource supported and equipped schools. So I want to again thank the Community Foundation of Louisville for fostering such a powerful partnership with Donors Choose. 
for three years now, this col collaboration has benefited educators and students. So it empowers community members to really invest in what they have an interest in. And it really gives teachers, the wonderful teachers that we have in our system, that by the way, were just nationally recognized for their hard work and attendance, uh, but it gives them an opportunity to make their dreams come alive in the classroom. So, um, and one of the opportunities I have as the Jefferson County Public School uh, Superintendent is to work with an amazing Board of Education. There are seven people that govern our district that that work in your best interest every day. So I want to acknowledge Miss Diane Porter, and I don't know, Miss Porter, if you um, want to, to say anything? Just, let's acknowledge Miss Porter. <laughs> she is the chair of the Board of Education, and she's also your district representative and she works tirelessly uh, for all of the students in the Jefferson County Public School System. But you know, Lincoln is a special place. Principal French makes Lincoln a very special place. All the staff members do. But there's also somebody that contributes to what I call the magic that is Lincoln. So I'm gonna turn it back over to Assistant Principal Mike Ice. Let me give you some numbers too. At Lincoln, we had 18 projects funded. $10,880 was contributed to that, and half of it was with the foundation. And then 111 other donors were engaged in our projects. That is a huge impact on our school. And Donors Choose has made an impact, again, not only on our school, but on our students and the students in Jefferson County Public Schools. This short video here is going to, you're going to hear from some Jefferson County Public Schools teachers and how your generous contributions have helped in their classrooms. And surprisingly got my first project funded. Um, my classroom got an iPad and since then I've done a couple projects every year. Um, I think I've done five now and I've raised almost $4,000 for my classroom. So it's, uh, it's a pretty exciting um, organization and it's just really exciting to be able to get those materials that I need for my class. Well, I, I teach students in kindergarten through fifth grade with moderate and severe disabilities and that can include Down syndrome, autism. My students really require a lot of adapted materials, a lot of modifications so that they can have access to the content. Um, it's, not, it's not just the type of population where you can put a book in front of them and say, learn this. They really, really need um, extra things, so they really need that technology to access that. They need um, ways to interact with the material. Um, and so that's a lot of the things that I've received from Donors Choose, the things that really enable them to uh, reach the content in a way that's meaningful for them. Well, my latest project that I did um, is, I, is I, I asked for a text set about people with disabilities um, just to give my kids people to relate to in a, in a book, so people just like them. Teachers being involved uh, in the Donors Choose program, um, it, it does allow them to be creative. They have to think outside of the box. Um, it brings our staff together. Um, it really has enhanced the, uh, the work that we're doing in our professional learning communities uh, because teachers are sharing these resources and they're sharing how they're using these resources in the classroom um, and how to reach all students. My Donors Choose project was getting Kindle Fire HDs for my classroom. This has really benefited them because it helps them in the beginning of the year with their letter identification. I teach kindergarten, so some of my babies come in and they don't even recognize letters, and so this has been a great tool for them. B. A. T. O. And I feel like it's our job as their teachers in their school to provide it for them, and Donors Choose allows teachers to provide that for the students that they otherwise wouldn't have. Very good. Now what's at the end of the sentence? We meet on the rug every morning. We, do, we greet each other. We share um, on the rug. We um, have our lessons on the rug. So anytime I'm teaching a whole group, they're sitting on the rug and it gets them focused. I have used Donors Choose to um, get a brand new classroom rug for our classroom. Um, I also used it to get some iPods for a listening center. I got four of those um, and some books as well that um, are on CD that I can put on the iPods. And then I also received six Chromebook computers. A lot of the kids really learn well on the computers. Um, it's 
it's a great way to get their attention. Some of our students don't have computers at home as well, so they're really invested and they want to use the computers because they don't get a chance to do it at home. Um, and it's just another way of like getting to them and getting them to learn. I like to read books and it helps me learn in class. You know, it's nice to know that people are supporting our schools and our kids because our kids really need the extra support. They need everything they can get. Okay, so let's talk about Ms. Gibson and the choir performance. So Ms. Ms. Gibson has been an educator, a music educator for 15 years. Her teaching experience includes choral, guitar, and piano, as well as general classroom music. Ms. Gibson used Donors Choose to purchase new tuxes and ties. With the help of the Community Foundation of Louisville's matching donation, her donors, uh, her donors and her were able to purchase these items quickly and efficiently. The pieces are, our students are singing today is titled Spirits from the Midnight Summer's Dream. Okay, so now, that's the exciting, I like the drumming part. So uh, let's again uh, welcome Miss Casada and her students with their drums and the drum straps that were purchased by Donors Choose. Every day we come to school, we are happy, and we're even happier when sometimes we get those lovely packages that we know come from Donors Choose and from the donors when we see our funds get raised for those uh, wonderful items. So again, thank you to the Community Foundation and thank you to all the donors. Uh, at this time, let's bring back Miss Susan Berry as she wraps up our event. It, it took all my energy not to get up and start dancing. Thanks so much 
for your patience, kids. We really appreciate it. Um, that was wonderful. Thank you for showing the impact that citizens philanth citizen philanthropists can have, and I urge you to keep the momentum going. I urge teachers, you know, one of the things we tried to do at the foundation is, you know, this isn't the end of citizen philanthropy. We wanted to jumpstart citizen philanthropy in our community and get community members thinking about how they can have a positive impact in the classroom one dollar at a time. I think too often in our lives we think about, well, that's just a problem or that's something I can't have an impact on. I can't change this. I can't change that. But you know, when a teacher needs an iPad, when a teacher needs a set of books, when a teacher needs a rug, there is a way that we can provide assistance and make their lives um, so much better and help students um, have a greater day in the classroom as well. So thanks for being with us today. I understand we do have cake yes. in the lobby and that's approved. Yes. It is, all right, it's ready. It's not only approved, it's ready. Um, please join us for refreshments in the lobby. For the kids that performed, are they in the back now? Yes. All right, I'd love to have them come out and maybe we can have a few pictures, would that be okay?